Okay, that's the key formula. Now, for our purposes, your depth is always going to be measured. In this case, if you have to pump it out of the tank, your depth is measured from up here is zero. And then how deep are you going? Okay, so depth is going to change. Therefore, depth is whatever x coordinate we're at. So depth will always be x. That'll help. This is also, there's more than one way to teach you can do this. I used to teach it by the other method and got confused. Once I switched to this method, it seems to think better. All right, so let's work the problem. And then we'll be happy. That was the hard part. We have to get the concept across. Okay, you have a conical tank. What's that mean? It's a cone. It's cone. Which way would the cone be going? Down. Down. Because if you've got a tank of water, you're going to have your cone going downward. Okay, this particular conical tank is 14 meters wide and 10 meters tall. You have the water is filled up to the 6 meter mark. Let me fill. Oops, nope, you won't. <laughs> okay, give me a try. Will you let me fill? Yeah, water. And that. All right. There, we got water in our tank. All right, so the w I should need to tell you, water is filled up to the 6 meters mark. I want to know how much work is needed to pump it to the top. So it's like you got a pipe in there. Pipe's going to be where, though? Where's the mouth of the pipe? Are you going to have the start of the pipe right up here at the water level? It's got to be clear to the bottom. So yeah, we got to pump it up the pipe, and then it shoots out over the edge or something or wherever, pumps it out of there, goes runs somewhere else. So we just want to know how much to get it pumped up because that's we're fighting gravity. Okay, what was the formula? Work is the integration of what? Wave density times area of the surface times times the depth, which is going to be what? X, okay. Rho is going to be what in this case? Our weight density. We're in meters. So is it 62.4 or 9810? 9810. Okay. We know that one. We know depth is X. The only little bugaboo we got is we need area. Okay, it's the area of each layer of water. So right here, I've got a layer, but when I get down to the here, i got a different layer of water. So it's changing, is it not? That was how, that wasn't a problem. That was just the theory behind this. This is the problem. Okay. <laughs> how do you find area? Is, what shape is that layer? A circle. How do you find area of a circle? Pi r squared. Okay, but our radius is changing, is it not? It changes on, depending on what depth we're at. Okay, so are we ready for fun now? You did this back in later grade problems. If I came across here, what shape do I have right here? I have a right triangle. Okay, and my water level is changing every time. So I have similar triangles. Okay, what's the distance across the top? Seven. That would be 7 meters, because the whole diameter is 14. That's 7. I know the whole height is what? Ten. 10. 
Okay, my problem is my radius is going to change based on where my water level is at. So I'm going to label that R for radius right now. Well, I, ha I can't have an R after my whole problem is X's. Okay. X is where? If X is my depth. Depth is measured from where? From the top. So X is the distance down to wherever the water level is at. So if that's X, what is this piece on down to the bottom where the water's at? That's 10 minus X, isn't it? The yellow part? Okay, set me up a proportion that relates those things. Okay, she's doing the little triangle. So she's doing height of little triangle to R, radius of little triangle. So then I need height of big triangle, 10, is to radius of big triangle, whoa, 7. Okay, which one are you trying to solve for? R, because we want to know what R equals. Cross multiply it. Now you can multiply the 7 in there, you can leave the 7 out front, I don't care which way you all like it. You want 70 minus 7x? Okay. <laughs> equals 10r. So then I would be putting it all over 10. That's my radius. That's the hard part. You know, if it's a plain old rectangle, it's pretty easy. If it's a circle or something, it's more of a pain. So you all told me area was pi r squared. So what is r r? Yeah. 70 minus 7x all over 10 squared, there's radius, and then I just need to integrate between something. How high am I trying to raise this thing? Zero is the top, and how deep did it go? Because actually what's the distance I'm going to have to pump it? Why did you say four? I'm starting at six meters high, so don't let that mean I only have to get it. That the top layer only has to go up four feet, then, or four meters. What am I saying? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the top layer only needs to go up four, but the bottom has to go up a full. The water clear down here has got to go up the whole way. So yes, you're going to integrate it four to ten. So it's how much distance do I have to pump up? Okay, is that evil? A little, only slightly. Okay, when you're doing these in meters where you have such a huge number to start with as weight density, these are going to be big answers. So this data comes out to be 5,980,123.4 what? Joules. And you may just use the capital J joule symbol. That's fine. I should use that on the last one. So those will get you big answers. Okay, that was the meanest part of the kind of problem I could show you. That's what. Yes. Um, I wasn't supposed to take that long. Let me kill this.